Former President Donald Trump won Tuesday's Florida presidential primary election with 81 percent of the vote. That was a 12-point drop from 2020 when he won the primary with 93 percent. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, who had suspended her campaign two weeks ago, finished second with 14 percent of the vote. And Governor Ron DeSantis, who withdrew from the race in January, came in third with 3 percent. So, Brittany, what does it say? Uh, The Democrats said this week that one in five Republican voters voted against Donald Trump. So the Democrats say it's bad news for Donald Trump, the outcome of Tuesday's election. What do you say? Right. I don't think that's necessarily true. Obviously, when Florida's early ballots went out, Nikki Haley was still in the race. So she was still there for people to vote for. Um, Coming into November, we knew that Donald Trump was going to be our nominee. Everybody kind of knew it. I was a big DeSantis fan, campaigned for him, worked for him. Um, And, you know, the writing was on the wall. So come November, we would much rather see Donald Trump in the White House than Joe Biden. And obviously there will be a few Republicans that refuse to vote for him, but he's going to win Florida in a landslide. And this election, 20% that he didn't get is not going to. What's your take on that, that. the the numbers out of Tuesday for the Republicans? You know, uh, I think that uh, Republicans registered 600,000 new voters between 2018 and 2022. Those two gubernatorial elections, if you recall, DeSantis squeaked by in 2018, won by 1.9% of the vote over his opponent, the mayor of Tallahassee. Uh, 2022, over a much better known opponent, Charlie Crist, He blew him away, won by nearly 20 percentage points. That's because uh, a huge number, half a million or more Republicans registered to vote in those four years. Most of it was during COVID when our governor DeSantis was on the television, mostly on Fox News, speaking to the nation, inviting Republicans to move to Florida to enjoy our openness. Uh, They did in great number. And so in 2024, I think Florida is no longer going to be a purple state. Uh, It's not really going to be a race. I think Donald Trump will... um for better or for worse, uh, win the state of Florida, hands down. Uh, Andy, let me read something that Ron DeSantis said about the race on Tuesday. And, and, and the Democrats did have some setbacks. They lost uh, some mayoral races. They lost some city council races, places like Apopka, Clearwater, Fort Lauderdale by the sea, Delray Beach. Democrats had some setbacks. And this is what Ron DeSantis said. He said the Florida Democratic Party is like the best opposition party we could ever ask for. They canceled their presidential primary because they feared Biden may get embarrassed by not getting a high enough percentage. And what did that do? That totally tanked their turnout. Was it a mistake for the Democrats not to have a presidential primary here in Florida? Well, I I saw, Brittany, on your Twitter, you referred to their election as a bloodbath (laughs) for the Democrats. And, you know, it's like you, you, dim, you Republicans are throwing that word bloodbath around like it's, you know, confetti at an insurrection party or something. But the truth is Florida Dems had a lot of good wins also in places that weren't Nancy Pelosi territory, like Kenneth City's mayor, uh, city council for Pinellas Park, Gulfport, uh, Safety Harbor, Oldsmar. And I think, to your point, it's all going to depend if we get abortion on the ballot. If Mm. abortion gets on the ballot, anything could happen. Uh, And in my own city, we'll get to vote for people like Nick Carey for city council. So I'm I'm feeling very encouraged. Nick Carey, very progressive candidate. Absolutely. Could also have recreational marijuana on the ballot, which might pull out more Democrats. Jacob, do you think think the Florida Supreme Court is going to decide to put the abortion issue on the ballot? I mean, you know, it's unfair to ask a reporter to make a prediction, but what's your take on that? Well, I mean, they have until April 1st to decide. I mean, given like some of the concerns, like when I spoke to some lawyers, like not including a definition of uh, viability in the uh, in the ballot initiative could prove fatal in this instance. So I think, it, you know, the, the court is stacked with DeSantis appointees. I think it's, you know, it's, it's anyone's guess, but uh, I don't I don't want to say that I think it looks particularly well. OK. All right.